Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. Good morning, everyone. Lauren Richardson here on this Saturday and hope everybody's staying warm if you're heading out the door because it is really chilly out there this morning. So the time is now 615. It's 11 degrees in New Haven. Yep, a measly 11 degrees. We've got a northerly wind of 15 miles per hour blowing in, so that's making it feel even colder. So if you're heading out the door, give yourself extra time, obviously, uh, just in general to get out there and bundle up too. Satellite radar shows us for the past six hours we've had clearing sky so high pressure uh, pushing in for today we're going to be seeing a good amount of sunshine and yeah this storm system it's staying to the south of us actually some areas of the cape right now are getting some snowfall you could see that there's some winter weather advisories up for them but nothing near us so that's the good news the, the early warning pinpoint doppler scanning our state completely dry you could see no major issues or problems and then here's a look at our headlines for today we're going to be sunny and cold but temperatures are going to be slightly warmer than they were yesterday and we're going to be seeing some less wind, but don't be fooled. You still need the full winter jacket, the hat, the gloves, the scarf. It's actually late, almost late January at this point, right? Uh, we do have a storm free weekend on tap though, so we're not expecting to see any rain, any snowfall for the weekend. Tomorrow we're going to be seeing a little bit more cloud cover, but for the most part, it's going to be uh, another cold day, but a quiet weekend. I think we need that right after uh, a lot of things going on the past couple of weeks. And then we do have the potential for some snow showers midweek, although a lot of the models now are showing a miss for that. So we'll be keeping you updated, of course, with that, but we're still keeping it on the seven day forecast. All right, temperatures right now we're in the single digits and we're in the teens along the shoreline. So yeah, that's how cold it is out there. Plus with that wind coming in from the north, it's feeling that much colder. So it only feels like it's negative seven in Windsor Locks, negative five in New Haven. Not a good feel out there. Brutal feel. Wind speeds coming in, uh, as mentioned, from the north, anywhere from calm to 15 miles per hour. And then yeah, our normal high temperature is about 35 degrees today. We are going to be below that. So we're going to be about anywhere from 22 degrees uh, in those northern areas to 30 degrees along the shoreline. Sunshine will be bright. It will be abundant. It will feel nice, but those temperatures won't feel nice. Now those forecast lows for tonight, we get into the teens, partly cloudy conditions. It will be cold, but those winds will be nice and calm. They'll pick back up again, though, as we head towards tomorrow. Here's a look at our future cast. And yeah, you could see some cloud cover, some partly cloudy skies as we head towards tonight. Then here's a look at tomorrow. You could see some clouds building in for the morning. So I do think we're going to be seeing a good amount of cloud cover for tomorrow and some moisture. Plus, we've got the chance maybe of a flurry or two in the afternoon. We can't completely rule that out. But for the most part, we do seem to stay dry. Now, Monday night also, we do have the chance of maybe some light lingering flurries, but not expecting this once again to be a big deal if we do see anything at all. All right, here's a look at Tuesday into Wednesday. So Tuesday now, you could see this storm storm system. This is one of the models, the GFS model uh, shows it to the north of us. So it doesn't show it impacting us for the morning or actually for the evening as well heading in towards Wednesday. So it looks like this has it pushing to the south of us and uh, not really impacting us. Maybe we might see a couple flurries, some light snowfall for Wednesday morning, but it does look like a lot better right now for the Wednesday morning commute. Now Thursday, we've got some clouds building in and then Friday, I've got the potential, actually it looks like, for this storm system to move in. So we might be seeing some accumulating snow on Friday afternoon into the evening into Saturday. So we're going to be keep you, pe keeping you updated on that. But yes, yeah, so you can see temperatures. They're not going to be too warm. 36 degrees. That's our warm day on Tuesday. And plus, it's going to be breezy too, so that's going to make it feel colder. And then you could see on Thursday and Friday, we don't get out of the 20s. And then that low Thursday into Friday in the single digits.